Welcome back to Randy's DIY, and today we're looking at the Lenovo 100E Chromebook. And if we turn it over here, you can see right here it says Lenovo 100E Chromebook on the model number. And the problem with these is you can leave them plugged in for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. No matter how long you leave them plugged in, <clears throat> hit this power button, nothing's going to happen. I like to hold the power button for 10 seconds just to make sure it's powered off and then try to power it back on. Even at that, with most of these devices, you'll find that it's not going to respond. And I have discovered an issue with these 100Es that Lenovo will not uh, admit to. We're going to unplug this, we're going to crack the back off of it, and I'm going to show you what I found. For us, this has solved our problem probably 75% of the time. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, PH1 Phillips uh, head driver and we're going to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. And it looks like one has already come out. Once we remove these screws, I like to start on the front right corner when the Chromebook is upside down. Start there with removing the bottom case. I'm not sure if that's the way Lenovo would want you to do it. I use a little metal spudger like this, and I'll usually go in right between the soft gray rubber and the plastic, and just kind of pry up on that area. And <clears throat> occasionally you do lose some of the little snaps doing it this way, but I just run that spudger across this, uh, between the gray and the black until I get all the way across. And then I just give it a good yank at that point and it comes right off. Here is the issue. Right here. Do you see this flap? This is a ribbon cable retention flap. And it is up. I'm going to move the camera in a little closer. And maybe you can see that better. Right here. If you can see that, that is loose. And this is the problem I have discovered with the 100E Chromebook. So if we pull this ribbon cable, push it in, get it seated in there really good where it should be, fold that over, make sure it clamps down good. And what I've been doing is putting a little drop of fingernail polish right on these corners where it pivots. For now, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna see if it works but this is an issue. This one I've never seen it come loose. This one is loose 75, 80% of the time. This one here, and it is the wide black connector on the daughter board. Let's go ahead and flip the unit over, plug it in. We have an orange light here on the power. And look, there we are. Powered on and working. If you have a Lenovo 100E Chromebook and you have an issue with it not powering on, this is the first step you take. Always pop that back off. Look at that connector. It's probably going to be loose. Reseat your ribbon cable. Clip that down. Put some kind of binding agent on it. I use fingernail polish because it'll break easily and it holds the holds it closed. That connector is faulty. There's no reason all of these Chromebooks should be, uh, that cable should be coming loose on those. Thanks for watching and hope this helped you guys out and hope it saves some of you some money so you don't have to buy new Chromebooks. Have a good day.